And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and to everybody on YouTube for some gruel seasons to kick off our Halloween stream today. We're going with a 12 hour stream because of all the wonderful people here in Twitch chat with all of the uh, subscribes. We hit a sub goal or enough sub goals, I should say, to do a 12 hour stream. And we got a a donation deck that we're starting off with here. So this is a viewer submitted list. That's what the two Ds always mean whenever you see that donation deck. Well, we're playing a, a gruel, almost mono green, but a gruel season of growth list. So we're calling this deck gruel seasons. So season of growth is a two man enchantment. If you play a creature, you get to scry one. And whenever you cast a spell that targets one of your creatures, you get to draw a card. So you, it gives... Uh, the green deck, a lot of card draw as long as you're playing spells that target your creature. So with those spells, we got four Stony Strength, four Giant Growth, and four Growth Cycle that can target our own creatures to help us draw cards. Plus a tad bit of removal with Thrash Threat also. Um, you know, with the Thrash part being double green. So yeah, we're going to just hopefully have Season of Growth be able to play a bunch of these uh, small creatures and be aggressive. You know, this is just going to be an aggro deck. We're going to be trying to pump up our creatures with our pump spells and stony strength and everything like that. Um, so yeah, you know, like it's the fall season here with Halloween. So we get Season of Growth. So that's pretty cool. That works out pretty well. Um, you know, so we'll see how this plays. There's there's definitely some some cards that I'm I'm wondering if they're they're powerful enough. I I kind of feel like this is a little bit of a budget deck. Uh, from looking at it, our only you know like our, our rares we got Stomping Ground, Spellbreaker, and Pelt Collector. I guess this thing's a rare too, Thrash Threat. Um, I'm I'm not sure out I'm not really sure out Muscle, aka Bear Suplex, is going to be good enough. Like, uh, Domri's Ambush seems like a card that would be perfect for this deck. Maybe instead of Rabbit Bite and Out Muscles, playing, like, Domri's Ambush. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll see if, like, if like the the creatures are good enough. You know, we don't really have, like, the, the top-end stuff that you'd really expect in green. Like, like Questing Beast, for example, would be something that, that, you, that we would think would fit perfectly in here. But let's let's get this going. Let's see if, if we can pull off some wins with all these... Um, all these pump spells, they could definitely surprise some opponents as well. Yeah, good old aggro here. All right, so we'll have to, I'll have to see like where to put this happy, happy Halloween thing so it's not um, on, on the battlefield, so it's not covering up other stuff. And I know it's, it's hard to read, but it was like the only image that I could get to work with the transparent background. Um, the other ones, they weren't working. Okay. So I guess, so am I supposed to put it like down here? Hmm. But it needs to be like in a lighter spot. Maybe over here. Nah, you just can't read it. unfortunate yeah it's basically like naya feather without feather yeah <laughs> happy ee -E to you too i mean i could do a non-transparent background image you know like where it has just like a white background All right, Gilded Goose on turn one. Nope, no, no Azorius on tap today. We played a couple Esper controls yesterday, but no, so no Azorius today on the docket. All right, looks fine right here. Cool. We don't have any planeswalkers in this deck, but we'll see if like if we ever like play a planeswalker if if that thing gets in the way or I don't know if the planeswalkers will be up here or what. We'll we'll kind of see. 
But yeah, I think that's the best spot for it right now. We got our pumpkin spice box here. Yeah, it's true we haven't played an Abzian deck in a while. Um, we got an Orzov deck here, which is pretty close to Abzian. I feel like Cavalier of Dawn is, is an under, underrated slash underplayed card in this Oko metagame. And so I'm playing two different Cavalier of Dawn decks. With Orza value and Bant midrange. The Bant one, I have four Cavalier of Dawns in that one. Yeah, Azorius has a shot at a tournament win. Yeah. Like, there's there's the Azorius deck that went 10-0 um, and 0 in the, the MCQ, like, last weekend or the weekend before, whenever that was. I think that was last weekend. That Azorius list looked pretty good with two Agent of Treachery, two Mass Manipulation at the top end. Those cards are both very good with the Sultai Oko decks not really playing very many counter spells. Pump spell, I guess I didn't say this in the, the beginning. Also, pump spells with Sir Farron can be pretty awesome. This would have been a perfect time to draw like a giant growth, though. Oh, I love that block. Love this block. Is there... They're blocking the thing that has trample, so, like, they, they didn't actually block it all with Cauldron Familiar. Nice. Last game you played, you had Ethereal Absolution and Garrick out together. Yeah, that will definitely dominate a battlefield for sure. Alright, we're trying to get that last point of damage in here. See if we can do it. Down, 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 down. The Golgari Queen. I'm good at what I do. And what I do is win. I'm it seems fortune fails Hey, Brett. You. What's up? No, yeah, you got here just in time. This is the very first game that we've played. So you got here just in time. We played Tracker on one. Barkhide Troll on two. Spellbreaker on three. Spellbreaker on four. And we're trying to finish off the opponent, but... See if we can get there. Ugh. They get to block with Cauldron Familiar. Go to two. Oh, uh. 
Didn't draw any pump spells yet. It's certainly difficult to get in damage on the ground against Cauldron Familiar. Does Azorius, Azorius Flash have... Flash? Gosh, I can't even read. Uh, Alright, I'll try again. Question was, does Azorius Flash have a shot? That's kind of hard to say. Azorius Flash have... Those three words back to back to back. Anyway, um, I have I haven't seen an Azorius Flash deck at all. I don't I don't really know what that would particularly look like. We we're only playing twenty three lands, so drawing land six and land seven, the last two draws has been. Pretty disappointing. We fought through their Mayhem Devil, though. But it looks like this is probably where my opponent's going to turn the corner, though. Our, we needed, you know, a spell in the last two draws, for sure. Some kind of spell. So we have... We have Spy Glasses in the sideboard. Three Spy Glasses. I'm going to be bringing all of them in. Because this, this deck is playing Oko, Vraska, and Witch's Oven. Like, Spy Glassing, Witch, spy glassing Witch's Oven is pretty crucial. Also, Wicked Wolf. That's a good card to Spy Glass as well. Going to die anyway. Yeah, I, I guess the deck's trying to be lean on red. But yeah, Collision Colossus seems like it would fit really well in this deck, too, for give, giving Trample. That's true. That's a really good card there. Yeah, this card just doesn't give Trample. We had this like three turns ago. Could have worked. Well, they just get to sacrifice the wicked wolf to the oven, bring back the cat. This game's very over. Wish my opponent was playing a little faster, though. Hey, <laughs> yep. Hawkeye got us. This game. Okay, I was like, where's... It's like, this is what this is what you get for not feeding me lunch yet. 
Even though I'm like, okay, it's still another couple hours before just have lunch. All right, this game's over. We're moving on. We don't need to continue to play a game that's over. All right, so Spyglass is critical. Hmm. Return to Nature kind of fits this, I guess. It's just good. It's good against the Cauldron Familiar and Witch's Oven. So yeah, like Veil of Summer. Oh, we should just play them. I mean, basically all of these things make sense. Like there's there's not a card in the sideboard that doesn't make sense. Like they all make sense. <clears throat> we can't play all these though. So let's cut out muscle. Maybe play like three thrash, no rabbit bite. We'll play Cinder Vines. I'm not going to play Return to Nature. I'm going to cut the Stony Strengths. So we, you know, we need to cut some spells. This is still 63. One Sir Farron, one land. Um, and I guess another Thrash. I don't know about cutting that Thrash. Kind of had to make a decision there real quick. Okay, so it'd be a lot better if we didn't have double Highlands. That... Never play... Oh, never never do that with Once Upon a Time. I don't know how many times you see that. It's just such a bad use of Once Upon a Time. You should always draw your card first so that you... You just have more information. You draw your cards. You know what eight cards you have, or like your other seven cards besides your Once Upon a Time that you have in your hand. And then after you draw your card, then cast your Once Upon a Time. All right, well, we're all in on this Pulp Collector here. Yeah, V chilling. Um, I believe it's top 1,200 now. If you want to qualify for the next MCQ. I think they changed that from 1,000 to 1,200. At least I'm glad we cut a land. This this should probably be just a 22 land deck in general. I need one more counter on this Pulp Collector to, so it has Trample. Yeah, they have... Yeah, so I, I need... Because this, this has Trample as long as it has three plus one plus one counters on it.
They didn't just sacrifice the wolf to the witch's oven. Um, I think that the person that made the deck said they wanted to be really light on the red. That's why there's no Domri's Ambush. But I, I think Domri's Ambush would be... Would probably be better than some of the sideboard cards that we have. Open your heart to the magic that dances some of the sideboard removal you. spells. Ambush is just really strong. But Joy they weren't here. I didn't want to change it. They weren't here whenever we started the league. Hey, what's up, Samantha? So they're at 10... So I could waste two, I don't know if it's waste, but I could use two giant growths to kill Oko. Because like I, I I have them both attack Oko. They have Cauldron Familiar block the 3-3, three, three, and so then I have to use double giant growth to kill Oko. Why does that thing have six loyalty? It's ridiculous. I definitely do not have lethal. I mean, I guess if they just don't block, I guess it could have been lethal. So much loyalty. Fine, remain blind. So they already like with Mayhem Devil. I mean, I'm just dead. With Mayhem Devil, they already get to kill this thing. If I play the Pelt Collector, they just get to play the. They just kill the Pelt Collector also. So I'm just gonna wait. Maybe be able to play Pelt Collector plus something else. Hey, Arhina, happy Halloween. <laughs> yeah, see, Oko's easy to deal with. You just have to use every card in your hand. We need to draw Spyglass to shut down this Witch's Oven. That's a that's a really important thing. I mean, obviously, if we would would draw a Season of Growth ever, like the the card that our deck is named after, that would certainly be nice. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. You were in an accident. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm glad I'm glad you're okay. Rebel yeah, glad you're okay there, Samantha. So sorry about that. Sovereign and free. Yeah, I've I've seen this four color deck quite a bit. This four color sacrifice deck and, and it's it's good. It's basically like my soul tide, but you know, they're they're splashing for mayhem devil. Oh dear. Um it's definitely worth it. Like Oko is amazing. Um, I'm not. I'm not super sure if like Mayhem Devil is is necessary. I mean, I just have. I have zero percent chance of winning this. We're gonna move on. That's a. 
that's a, a very good anti-aggro deck if their mana works out, though. Like all those cards, like Mayhem Devil shooting down the creatures and you know Wicked Wolf, Cauldron Familiar over and over, gaining a lot of life. Oko is obviously a complete nightmare for aggro. Uh, Golgari Queen, like all their deck is so good against aggro. And so that was that was pretty rough. We obviously, like, you know, to have a chance, we need Spyglass to shut down Oko and Witch's Oven. And more importantly, we need Season of Growth. Like, that's it. Season of Growth is the most powerful card in the deck. It's what our deck's named after. We need that card. Not having that card, we're, we're not, our deck's not going to be strong enough. Yeah, Oko went, went uh, did a lot of trick-or-treating, getting all that candy, all that food we had over there. Our opponent was really trick-or-treating. All right, we got Season of Growth. So that's good. Yeah, I, I, I bought this Halloween tie. Yeah, see, it's a good Halloween tie. I don't have a a costume. I've never been a costume person, but. I got a pretty cool looking uh, Halloween tie. Timio. Library. Land would definitely be good. Okay. So I think I go... Sir Farron, and then Grow Pelt Collector, then Stony Strength. When they block. I want to get another attacker in play. Yeah, I'll take another Stony Strength. That can help out giving this Pelt Collector Trample. Now our deck's doing what it's supposed to do. Now the Pelt Collector is going to have Trample. The storied past holds our future. Even a light green. All right, they targeted the wrong thing. They should be targeting Sir Farron there. Because her Farron pumps. My body tells me no. Oh, I should have played the troll first.
Because that would have that would have grown the pelt collector there because they minused. My victory was washed away. So yeah, I should have played this troll first. This has worked well. This is what our deck's supposed to be doing. Okay, Brett said you went 3-1 at FNM with this deck. Cool. And you you beat Oko with Spyglass. Nice. Yeah, that's that's what... Yeah, we definitely need that Spyglass before. Brett said the main problem with relying on Season of Growth instead of Let's something like um, Edgewall Innkeeper is not being able to fetch it with Once Upon a Time. That is true, but it's really hard to die. Like, enchantments are pretty difficult to deal with right now because Oko doesn't deal with enchantments. People are dealing with, like, creatures and enchant and uh, artifacts and stuff. People aren't really dealing with enchantments too much. Um, I think we just have you attack there, you two attack here. Pump that up. Over. Double scry. Nope. I think I'm going to need more land. But I'll probably find land. I want just all pump spells for next turn. You know, I just want, like, just... That's why I put the creature down at the bottom. I just want all pump spells next turn. You're hype for Disney Plus? I... Let's think about it. I don't think I'm going to get Disney+. Plus. I like the Marvel movies quite a bit. But, I mean, I've, if I think about it, like, I haven't, you know, watched many Disney movies or, you know, like, I haven't, like, needed that service for, like, my whole life. I don't think I, I need to start spending the $12 a month or whatever for for that streaming service. Oh, you just get it as far as your Verizon Unlimited package, like with your phone? I have Verizon Unlimited on my phone. Hmm. Alright, so I think we should just play all these spy glasses, I suppose, with that being a team or walker deck. Yeah, seems like it makes sense. Um, I don't really know what to take out though. Is it Wildwood Tracker? Tracker's our worst creature. I think we want to keep all the pump spells. I think the pump spells are really good here. We just saw like the difference of like having season of growth or not having season of growth there. But I don't know if I want to just cut all the wildwood trackers. We only have 19 creatures, so what, that put us down to 16? It's not too bad, 16 creatures. All right, 15 creatures. We'll play the thrash threats also. No, you're good, SDN, you're good. Yeah, there are just more and more of these streaming services. And some, you know, I have subscriptions to a couple of them. Like, like I have a Netflix. I haven't watched Netflix in months. And so I'm like, why, why do I still have Netflix? I, I just don't watch anything on it. I've watched Netflix, like, for, like, a, you know, like, two TV shows, like, this entire year.
get rid of both of my threats. That was the risk. I need red mana for a spellbreaker. But still even then. Hey, what's up, Yud? Happy Halloween. It seems we've encountered another. I enjoy the proper application. Yeah, absolutely, Freddy. Yeah. Wicked Wolf is a very good name against Sultai with a with spyglass. All right, well, this looks like they got this one. All right, so it was a bad attack on my part into the Pelt Collector. Learned our lesson there. It was a bad, bad attack. <laughs> yeah, you like the spooky tie? Got my Halloween tie on. It's all spooky. All right, well, this Royal Scions is just going to ultimate. They have any... Um, I guess I could have, like, a haste Spellbreaker can't believe that they're just discarding Lava Coil. How good does our hand have to be? It's got to be like Sarkin, other stuff. Hey, happy Halloween, Nuga. Mm, a quest of mystery. Stomping ground. They're not even making food with the goose. to the mains ring and the heart hey billy uh yeah we're two for two playing against oko so far so yep lots of oko so far in our two matches I think they just have more negates. Oh, well, maybe not. Open your heart to the magic that dances around. That's how they've been keeping that. It's not poisoned. Trust me. Put up. Really needed red in the past five turns. Hey, up there is yeah. I'm I'm in. I'm here early. Um, uh, you're asking if Halloween's a holiday in EUA, but I don't I don't know what EUA stands for. It's a it's a it's a holiday in the United States of America. I I am not clear if it's a holiday anywhere else. Gaze into my hey, what's up, Rex? And put on your true shape. Have millions of loyalty. 
I like these games whenever we have season of growth. We've we've won one game so far. And it was a game we had season of growth. I'm at eight already. I think that's the best card in our deck. I haven't been very impressed with this growth cycle card. Oh, EUA is USA in Portuguese. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, now I do. So yes. So it's a ho it's a holiday in parts of Europe too. Okay, it's called Reformation Stag there okay hey Luffy it's going good all right really hoping we get this game it's not a good start for me though Played against the, that rogue merriment enchantment with divine visitation. Awesome. Yeah, Mardu uh, enchantments. The Outlaw's merriment is. I honestly didn't think that that card was going to be very good, but it's been it's been impressive. Yay, red mana. Grazer is such a good blocker. I assist those humbled by the pursuit of me. Learn some respect. <laughs> I think it's Mu Yanling still. It's not difficult to like we have enough power to, to take down Royal Scions. They're two lands away from playing Sarkin. That's so that's bad for me, them drawing lands. Focus with thoughtfulness before action. Um. Violence is upsetting. This is looking great for us. So you bought the popular Sultai deck. 
uh, when Eldr right when Eldrin came out and now attempted to sell for the profits. That's honestly, it's not a bad move. I think that I think it's very likely that something. I don't know what. I don't know if it's Oko. I don't know if it's if it's something else. Um, that something gets banned in on November eighteenth, for how they show that they are willing to ban Field of the Dead, and for just the public sentiment right now about the format. I think right now it's it's more than likely that something leaves the format. Whether that's Oko or Hydrocrasis or something. Yeah, we got a Brett. There we go. Without Seasons of Growth, either. Season of Growth, not Seasons of Growth. Singular. The one season. So the thing about... Okay, so you said you have a foil Oko. You said... All right, so you said you have a foil Oko that you feel you need to dump before the price crashes. Um, that is a card... I don't know the you know, like I don't know what the price of foil loco is right now, but just in general, that's a card that will. Huh. It will go down for sure. Whenever like if it gets banned, it will go down. If it doesn't get banned, it won't. Um, but that's a card that's going to rebound pretty well, and like in a year, that's going to be a very expensive foil, and it's just it's going to just go up. You know, next year, like basically in like if you can wait. In like two years, it's going to be more valuable than it is right now, even if it gets banned on November 18th, because of all the other formats that it gets played in, and everybody wants it for like their cube. Like that's just going to be in every cube everywhere, and and so on. Lots of commander decks. So it's it's the kind of thing that if if you want to cash out now, that's completely reasonable because there there'll be a time where we'll probably dip down if it gets banned um might as well keep that because it draws a card with season of growth but that's also the kind of card that it's going to be worth more later on also now to to uh continue with that thought there's a good chance that they That's also a popular enough card that maybe they have, like, you know, like, promo Oko foils somehow in, like, two years. Like, I don't I don't know if that'd be, like, reprinting it. You know, could maybe get reprinted somewhere. Maybe be some kind of, like, judge promo or something. So, yeah, it's... The, the more that, like, Wizards is... Wizards prints reprints cards much more than they did, you know, five, ten years ago. So it's it is a lot trickier to a lot riskier to just hold on to stuff. Alright, so this thing gets plus three, plus three. Definitely need to get this Murmuring Mystic out of here so they don't just get to, get to make a whole bunch of 1-1s. One one um, you said, wouldn't... Wouldn't the strat to be negotiate with a local store to trade the card for X amount of booster boxes? Um, booster boxes are just not a very good investment. I, I think that trading it for store credit is a really good strat if you want to like purchase other cards for like for standard and and so on. But booster boxes in general are just not a good investment. Like they you don't get as much value from opening them from buying and opening them. The best investment with booster boxes 
is to just hold them and never open them and then in like five ten years sell them whenever people because they just go like after they're out of print they'll go up in value with people wanting to be able to redraft their for, favorite formats and stuff um So every time it attacks, they get to discard a card and then draw. Yes, Star. If you have Urza's Saga booster boxes laying around, those those would be worth some. They, they would probably be worth something. What are all these lands doing? <laughs> hey, Soma. <laughs> it's all good. GG's. Okay, so let's let's haste it up. You know they can block with the dragon. Still puts them down to two. Alright, that puts them down to one. And we got this spell breaker up next. So they used two spells on this. Like they they played Jaya's Greeting and Rao's Outburst on this Barkai troll. Where if I'm them, I would have just used one on the the Wildwood Tracker, and I would have just blocked the Barkai troll with the Lock Dragon, and didn't have to use two spells on it then. If they would have done that, because they both attacked for three. If they would have done that, then they would have had the extra spell to kill my my Spellbreaker that I just attacked with. Now, I had the. The other one that was haste, but I think they actually would have stayed alive. Their removal spells are red for the most part, besides outburst. I'm going to keep it the same. I'm the card that we. The card that we saw that I'm the most scared of is Murmuring Mystic. It's possible I need more Thrash Threat. I do like, like honestly, I probably could have cut a land for a Thrash Threat. I think we have, I think we have one too many lands in this deck. Hmm. They let me be on the play. That's cool. Oh, we're two and one right now. I didn't update I didn't update the record over here. Yeah, well. I don't I don't know what happened there, but Last day of Brawl today. Oh yeah, Hordling Outburst stoked the flames. I used to do that all the time. Oh, never mind. We don't have enough lands in the deck. Man, this, 
This hand would be so good if we had two lands because we'd be able to have these Season of Growths. I can't keep it, though. It's a bunch of bears. With only one land, I would say this hand is barely playable. And I don't know if barely playable is better than five. Hmm. Okay, good. We got a five with Season of Growth. For us going to five cards, we definitely need Season of Growth. They spell pierce this. I'm gonna be mad. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Irie. Eh, we'll find a creature. Eventually. We just gotta keep going through the forest to look for some more creatures. We'll find one anywhere. It's, you know. Find one eventually. It's kind of like we're hunting right now. Drown secrets. Is there a little mouse in there? Oh no, there's a little, I think there's a little mouse in there. Drown squeakrets. The mouse. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we got Gruel Seasons. Sultai Affinity. Orzov value, already got that one. Rectus aggro, bent mid range. Got all the thumbnails. Thanks to Yud. Creature. Pioneer Goblins, Goblin Pile Driver, and Ember Cleave. Ooh. That could be a lot of damage. So I have 12 in hand right now. Pile driver was in Magic Origins. Return to Nature is perfect. I like Cinder Vines. Drown Secrets is the best card in that deck by a mile, so love Cinder Vines. Mm. We do not need Veil of Summer here. 
I don't think we need these removal spells. Too much. I think I may just take out Thrash. Basically be using Thrash to kill a Phoenix. All right. <laughs> uh, Jokers, no, I, I don't know anything about the new commander announcement. I, I don't know anything about it. Oh, man. I mean, Return to Nature is really good, but it's like the only card that's playable in our hand. This rugged Highlands is just so awkward. Gross. Well, I gotta have their best card. What was the? I'm I'm not gonna be watching the. Oh man, that's <laughs> that's amazing. I yeah, I won't be like what's what's the announcement? <laughs> hey, AJ, I'm doing very good. Doing very good. All right, so those just can kind of cancel out the double creeping chill they hit. Wow. Triple creeping chill. There's 10 new commander precons and draftable EDH sets in 2020. Um Okay, so like kind of like a modern masters type thing. So there's going to be just a, a commander masters, basically. They hit all four creeping chills. What a sweet life. Um, do you have an estimate of which decks will rise to the top of Foco's band? It's it's so difficult to to tell honestly. But um, if it's just Oko being banned. I kind of feel like elementals would be a, a really good would be in a really good spot. <laughs> I know I've I've never done that before. I've played I've played mono blue or you know I've played like this drowned secrets um, 
Arclight Phoenix mill deck, you know, with like, well, like 50 matches or so that we've probably played. And I've never, ever done that of, like, the first five mills, four of them were Creeping Chills. Like, I just, I've never done that. I guess technically they need to have a one mana spell. Alright, well now they need to land. Okay, they just have another one mana spell. Well, those were, were just perfect hands for our opponent, both those games. Turn two, Drown Secrets, and then millions of spells. I mean, that's just... There's... Not a lot to do about that. I could have kept my first hand, which, which my first hand... Hey, we get a pack. Let's crack this open. My first pack, hand, pack had Return to Nature, um, which would have destroyed Drown Secrets, as we saw. Just Drown Secrets is just so vital. Um... Yeah, it was just a flawless stretch game there. But it did my hand had nothing else. But honestly that just having the return to nature would have been better. Uh being able to destroy that drowned secrets. Cause as you saw there that game, like imagine if we would have destroyed drowned secrets, they would have immediately drawn creeping chill for like their next their next couple draw steps because they wouldn't have been able to just mill over those creeping chills. So they would have been drawing all those if, if we would have killed the drowned secrets and their hand would have looked pretty bad. Um, so there we go. All right. So question is, what do I think of the mana base? I, all right. So yeah, so about our deck here now back to our deck. So what about our mana base? The rugged highlands, I did, I didn't, I did not like the rugged highlands with this deck. Like this deck, it needs all of its mana right away and everything. The rugged highlands were just really rough. I would instead play like two mountains Maybe even one mountain. I'd rec like with with this deck here. I'd recommend playing like a, a mountain or two. Maybe you just want the one mountain, and then Fable Passage. I guess the Fable Passage just comes into play tapped though too. Hmm. You know, I'm I'm thinking of like you know turn two, turn three. Like this is just coming to play tapped also though. I guess Highlands is better than, than Fable Passage, then. Yeah, so I, I was going to say play, like, four Fable Passage, so so it bumps you up. You know, so, like, it bumps you up to nine instead of seven. But then these can also be green. But then I guess these are also coming to play tapped. But yeah, I, I do think that we could play more red cards. Um, I, I think going towards more, just maybe more of a split. Maybe that's the thing to do. Um, we don't really need mountains. What? Basically, I would look at the mana base for like the normal Gruul decks. And kind of go from there, you know, like like how Gruul just won the won the Mythic Championship a little bit ago. Look at like those mana bases to kind of help out, but you know maybe something like this. But I do think that we should just be playing more red spells. Domri's ambush is just amazing. 
This card is just incredible. Basically, two spells that I want. I want Domri's Ambush, and I want um, Colossus. Because Colossus gives, you know, it's a huge pump spell, but also gives Trample. And I think that that's, that's key. Plus, it can just, you know, kill a Flyer, which this deck isn't really doing with Flyers. So, like, if, if you need to, you have that other mode. But plus four and Trample is just awesome. Yeah, Once Upon a Time. Yeah, less lands with Once Upon a Time. Yeah, Once Upon a Time would definitely make the deck better. Um, as far as, like, things to take out, I would take out... Um, I would take out Thrash Threat. I think that the Domri's Ambush is does a better job of that. And then one of these other pump spells, probably Growth Cycle, because it's two mana. I like how Stony Strength is one mana. It gives the counter. I kind of like that. I think I'd take out... Basically, I'd replace Growth Cycle with Colossus. Replace Thrash Threat with Ambush. Um, and then I'd say Wildwood Tracker was the creature that I liked the least. Yeah, I do like the Goblin also. That's true. What's the name of that? Uh, Zertar... Sir Farron's like really is pretty nice though, because you pump Sir Farron's Sir Farron's power and then attack and it pumps the other creature also. I actually like the Sir Farron in this. And Barkai Troll has like that that kind of hex proof. I like that too. I like both of those cards, honestly. I think it's Wildwood Tracker is like the card I don't really like. Can we play like I want to play like two other um Hey Storm. Yeah, double green is harder with changing the mana base, that is true. But it's not too difficult. Once upon a time would definitely help. Growth Chamber Guardian, that's a good one. That's not a bad one. I was basically saying that I want two other like big heavy hitters like Spellbreaker. Um, I know it's a mythic, but um, if you have Questing Beast, you know, having like like two Questing Beast. I think Hellkite's a little expensive. Uh, could also go three mana like Bone Crusher Giant. No, you don't want Bone Crusher Giant in this deck. Never mind. Bone Crusher Giant would do a lot of damage to you. Yeah, the list could could kill turn five if if you have like a really, you know, really good solid hand. But as we saw, when we play those games. It just doesn't happen too much. I think that just adding in adding on to the consistency is is really what what the deck kind of needs. Yorvo, yeah, could go Yorvo. Yorvo's good. If if you want Yorvo instead of Questing Beast, you can do that. Obviously, triple green again. That's that's gonna be tough. Yeah, it does does change stuff up because yeah, before we had um, Because, yeah, before it's just quick one and two drops and try to try to play a whole lot of pump spells real fast. Um, and then I, I was thinking about going more mid-range, but it still have, like, Colossus, Domri's Ambush, you know, basically just having a little bit better removal and stuff. But it, it does make the, the mana worse, and, yeah, it would be going more mid-range, moving away from Wildwood, a tracker. If you want to keep it, like, really low to the ground like this and keep, like, lots of ones and twos... Like, the biggest thing is I'd probably take out... I know, like, that there was times that we we didn't have land, but honestly, I think that, that you need to take out lands here. Like, with this deck, with having all these ones and twos, like, I think this is probably, like, a 21 land deck, not a 23 land deck. Because 
you basically just need like three mana. Like you don't need more than three mana. And so taking out lands gives you some extra room. <laughs> the tie's too scary. Um, so yeah, if you want to if you want to keep it low to the ground, basically take out a couple of lands. If you have Once Upon a Times, this deck should, should be playing four Once Upon a Times. Because you could play like 20 lands and have four Once Upon a Times that help you hit land drops or help you grab creatures. If you have if you have Once Upon a Times. Um, if you, but yeah, if you want to keep it low and like basically mono green, I would probably just play like four Thrash main. Because there's, there's not really decks that Thrash is bad against. And you know, you can cycle them and stuff. And take out like two lands for two thrash. But again, I, I do I do really like Colossus. I honestly maybe maybe just play two Colossus in a in this kind of deck still. Like Colossus is just awesome, that that trample. We saw that was a big a big deal, like how we couldn't ever attack through the cat, because the cat would just chump block all of these things. And then yeah, Ambush. Domri's Ambush is awesome, also. I think I think Domri's Ambush is a lot better than Rabid Bite or Out Muscle, as long as you can cast it. <clears throat> but yeah, Collision Colossus is very important for the that trample. I, I really like that. Um But yeah, going bigger. Going just a little bit bigger, not you know, not too big, but just a little bit bigger with, um, you know, changing the mana base to be a lot more mountains, and once upon a times, and having Domri's ambush and Colossus main instead of growth cycle and thrash. Um, I'd rec kind of recommend that as we were just talking about a little bit ago. But there we go. That's that's a uh, Gruel seasons. I have to say that there's Season of Growth in particular. This is a very powerful card, and Gruul has a lot of very good aggressive elements and some good pump spells. Like, gross, gro Giant Growth's awesome. G gross Cycle, I don't think this card's very good, to be honest. With it being two mana, uh, I guess we're not playing very much red. If you had more red, hmm, even, is it Infuriate? Is that the name of the card? Yeah. If you had more red, I would rather have Infuriate with how it's just one mana also. Like, having a bunch of one mana cards is really nice. It's Sure, it does it. it's plus three, plus two instead of plus three, plus three. But that second part for Growth Cycle, as we saw, basically only mattered one game. But, but there's a big difference between spending one and two mana. So yeah, if you change change the mana base, you could go could go yeah could go just infuriate instead of stony strength um, to get to get a lot to get a lot more in. Especially if you're going with trample with colossus. So yeah, if you're if you're going with colossus over growth cycle, then you probably do want infuriate instead of stony strength. I like that. If, if especially if you change the mana base to be more red heavy. Um. Dreadhorde Arcanist is not bad. Yeah, if you go red, honestly, maybe Dreadhorde Arcanist is better than some of the other things. Because, yeah, being able to recast those pump spells is really nice. Yeah, Dreadhorde Arcanist is definitely a card to watch out for, too. There seems to be a lot of stuff here. I didn't I didn't really realize how much stuff is in Gruul Pump. Basically, Gruul Season of Growth Pump. There's actually a lot of good cards here. There's a lot of good cards. Barge in, pumps for plus two, plus two, and then gives all your creatures trample. That's not bad either. Give all of your creatures trample? That's huge with Sir Farin. You know, if you if you barge in a Surferon, make it a four four, and then attack, it has trample. Your other oh no, Surferon's a human. That's lame. 
I didn't realize that Surferon's a human and that it doesn't work with Wildwood Tracker. Hmm, that's not great. But yeah, lots of good stuff here. Man, I'll have to think about kind of revisiting this and, and, you know, like there's a lot of good pump spells. And then, of course, y'all were saying like Ember Cleave. Like Ember Cleave is an incredible card too. You got to attack with more creatures though with Ember Cleave. Um... I don't know, I'm just going to kind of write down like Gruel Pump Spells as like just a, you know, Gruel Season as as an archetype to kind of revisit, um, you know, in another day. But yeah, I'll have to revisit this. But there's a lot of a lot of good pump spells here. Season of Growth was awesome. I have to say, Season of Growth by itself, very good card. All right, we'll move on. Um, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, please hit the like button over there. Leave a comment. Do all those. If, if you have a, a great idea for what to do with uh, Gruel Season of Growth, leave a comment there. You can, you know, if you have like a deck list that's kind of like this with like pump spells and Gruel that you like, feel free to put it down in the YouTube comments over there. All right, but that's it here for Gruel Season. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.